Hello and welcome to the movie trivia schmodown. I'm Ken Napsok. Am I alone? No, I've got some friends coming out soon for this big match today. It is a fatal five way. We don't just bring out this director's chair for nothing. Fatal five way with some amazing competitors. This will settle a lot. As I said, not going to do it alone, so I'm not going to hesitate any longer to bring out my broadcast partners for the day. First, he is a notorious, notorious former champ who's trying to find his way in a new world. Please welcome the outlaw, John Roca. Outlaw John Roca, please sir, please sir. Uh, welcome to the show. Yeah, this is a uh, this is nice to be on the show. I can't hear myself, but it's nice to be on the show. Well, you have like two sets of headphones on, but it's Do good. It, it's it's good to be uh, good to be here yeah. with you, John. I know a lot of people think you and I go at each other, but we are really longtime friends, and uh, I think yeah. this is a big match, and it needs your insight, but it also needs a announcer at my side, yeah. and I am happy to introduce. Here it is, a big moment. He is the new movie trivia schmodown champion of the world, the commissioner, Christian Harlow. Look at this. Champ is truly here. I can see you. Uh, oh, you know what? John, Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, you know what? This is a big win. Yeah. This was a big win. Uh, Kamish, I, I think even you are surprised you're carrying that belt out. Not that you ever doubted your abilities, but you were up against Dangerous Dan Merle. I hated every second of it. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, I did. I mean, it was it was a shocking, it was a tough fight. Neither one of I think you've asked both myself and Dan Merle will tell you we probably didn't play our best, but... Um, that 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 guy's great. I mean, yeah. you know, President yep. Company included. Uh, Dan Merle's one of the best of of all yeah. time, and to be able to play him, to be able to say that, you know, it came down to the final question. Um, he threw me off. He threw yeah. me off, and, and he threw that that spin there. I think he threw us all off when he when he said he's not playing anymore. Yeah. Right. So um, you know, I um, it, it was it was a great honor to play him. It was a great honor to you know be in his last match. I don't I don't think it'll be his last match, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was it was it was fun. The competitive spirit can sometimes drive yeah. you away for a bit, but it will also bring you back. Uh, well, Kabish, we are here for a big match that's going to go a long way to determine people you might be facing in the future. Even well, I mean, yeah, this is going to be this is it. This is for the to get into the tournament. We are stacked with competitors. I mean, we had 15. We had 15 stacked competitors, and as you saw in in one of the the previous matches there, the post credit scene, if you will, I had a whole bunch of names. I had a whole bunch of names. I was I threw them all in because we had the champion, the Intergeekdom champion, yeah. Hector Navarro scheduling pro. Uh, he couldn't make it, so I put in a whole bunch of names. And I can tell you some of the names that were in there were G uh, Jim Vavita, Matt Atchity, Gray Drake, all names that were in there. And and there was a name that I pulled out that we're going to see tonight. So that name will be with Mance, will be with Dewberry, will be with Burnett, and will be with Inman to get a chance to play this man in the first round. That's right. If you're wondering why I'm here, that's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. I want to scout the competition. Christian was kind enough to ask me to come on the show. I'm here to see what these guys can bring to the match. All right, John, you're here. You're here yeah. to scout. The, you've got this outlaw attitude. Sometimes I've seen you try to, you know, maybe calm it later, but you look intense. You feel intense. Yeah. This hat is out. I think I know what that means. Yeah, it's competition time. Absolutely. Well, Christian, let's take it away. Let's get going into today's competition. All right, we do. We have some really good competitors here. I mean, you look at uh, Dewberry, who is all these records, by the way, do not really reflect um, what what these guys really can do because Dewberry is at one and two, but he just obviously he just joined the Wild Berries with Josh McCuga. And uh, Could someone sure, escort that man out. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we'll I'm sure we'll see Josh McCuga walking out with his new partner um, in just a little bit here. But he's uh, one and two. We've got Dewberry. You've got Mance. Mance is, Mance is two and three, but Mance is again he has taken Bibiani to the wire. Yeah. He has beaten uh, John Absolutely. Roca. He I mean he is a guy. He took Dan Merle to the wire. Scott Mance is a scary competitor, and if you looked at what happened just in the team tournament, came up short against Team Action, but he has been very strong, has been playing really, really well. Robert Meyer Burnett, even though he might have had a little uh, string of bad luck in the inner geekdom, as you also have a lot of history yeah. with him, um, yeah. the guy has been 
a menace in the team league. He is really good, and he has never played in singles competition, but because of his history in their geekdom, because of his history in teams, he was granted the shot. And Jason Inman, another guy, very good in both teams and inner geekdom, but one and two in singles. His only two losses come to myself and Jeff Snyder. He is a good competitor. And the fifth competitor, we're just going to have to find out. Yeah. Man, I'll tell you what, I'm going over my notes. I don't even know. I don't right. even know. Well, this is I what's just... great about the Schmodown. You yeah. don't know. This is, this is a great thing that gets thrown in. It's a twist. We don't know who's going to be. And it throws off the other four competitors. They don't even know who the fifth person's going to be. Well, let's right. go ahead and, t and hear from four of those competitors right now. What kind of world are we living in where a guy like Christian Harloff is the champion? I'll tell you what kind of world. The fantasy world. I'm back in the singles. I got my head on straight. I got my mind focused. I'm calm. I have a much better focus. And then after I win the Fatal Five Way, that means, that means that everybody, including me, we're all going to get what they want. Mance versus Roka 3. You may be asking yourself, why am I in this Fatal Five Way? I'm going to tell you why. It's because, you know, if you look at my inner geekdom career, I've been performing pretty steadily. Look at the team career. We've been doing pretty well. Team Trucks had a solid run. But if you look at my singles career, I've stumbled a couple of times. But I've only stumbled against champions. When Christian Harloff called me up and asked me if I was interested in a fatal five-way, I thought it was something sexual, so I said yes. Fortunately, I'm just going to be there with Jason Inman, Scott Mance, Burnett, a bunch of guys I've been told to be very nice to because they have frail, fragile egos despite their supposedly good records here in the Schmodown world. This is my debut in singles. Just like a long time ago, it was my debut in the Inner Geekdom, and guess who won? Guess who beat that Fatal Five way? I did. I took the Inner Geekdom belt, the first belt that was offered in that category, and I was the first person to get it. I'm coming out today to face my good compatriot, my my friend, my, my, my best friend, Scott Mance, fellow teammate. I've never fought him before. It'll be really interesting because I do know how to press his buttons, but you know what? I really respect Papa Mance a lot, so if it comes out to it, you know, it comes down to me and him, I might fall on my sword for the good old captain. Here's the thing about Robert Meyer Burnett. I love him like a brother. He directed my second favorite Star Trek movie of all time. That is Free Enterprise, but he's become a heel. And as you know, I just got to take the heel down. If I win this match, obviously I get a shot to go into the tournament to try to take on John Roca and his stupid hat and his stupid mask and his stupid belt. And you know, it could happen. Will it? Again, that's why we're here. None of us can predict the future. Who are we facing here in this Fatal Five Way? Dewberry? I don't even know who that guy is. Then you got uh, Inman, the Star Trek guy with his buddy Mance. Then there's a, a question mark guy. It should be me, probably. Look, I don't care who this mystery opponent is. Whoever you throw at me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show him what's for. I've been sort of on the lam for a while, ever since being betrayed by my former partner Ricky. Just sort of dusting off the old schmo down skills. We'll see. I don't really care either way, though. It's just fun to be involved. Okay, to everyone watching, to my fellow competitors, just you wait and see. The Mance Man is back. He is focused. He is ready. He is tanned. He is rested, and he is ready to win the Fatal Five. Win. I'm going to take my former horseman, and I'm going to ride his ass right off a cliff. That's what he's going to do. Roca is gone. His reputation will be tarnished. He will no longer be the person that everybody loves to hate. People will just hate him. He's got to make up his mind who he is. He's a good guy, he's a bad guy, he's a bad guy, he's a good guy. I'll tell you what he is. He's a dope. That's what he is. And I'm going to rope-a-dope him. A lot of words, a lot of smile. I got to tell you, the one that really sticks out to me, though, is Dewberry. <laughs> yeah. um, people saying, oh, yeah, he's turned face. I don't think that guy knows how to be a no, face. No, 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 I no, mean, he so. loves, he really, he's like Norm MacDonald. <laughs> he, I mean, he, he, he really is. I love him to death, and I love what the wild berries are doing. And I'm very curious to see what's going to happen here today, but I'm ready to get going. I'm ready. I'm ready, Christian. All right, tell me the tale of tape on quick, some of these characters. Quick tale of tape. We'll start with Dewberry. He has, uh, since joined up with the wild berries, it seems to have unlocked kind of this wonderful energy between these two guys. So his strengths, you know, I've seen him compete very well. 2,000 movies, action, adventure, comic book movies, and also now with Makuga, uh, dominating drinks out of red cups. Oh, yeah. just know, there it is. They know what to do yeah. there. Scott Mance we know movie release dates, Oscars, and La La Land trivia are in his strength, also bringing just a boundless energy that can sometimes hurt him or sometimes 
get him more focused. His partner from Team Trek, Jason Inman, comic book movies. Uh, I, uh, I've seen him uh, dominate that fantasy mm. sci-fi. We know he has a lot of strengths. He's a well-rounded player. And Robert Meyer Burnett, he is a former Inner Geekdom champion. But if you've ever heard him sit around the office talk, this guy knows about movies all genres, all kinds of f pictures here, John Roca. He yep. is well-rounded, whether you want to admit it or not. No, I just want him to win. You do? You want to play yeah. him? I haven't seen him. I haven't That's seen him. That's a good yeah. question, Roca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roca, so we can get and announce these guys. Yeah. You're playing one of these guys yeah. here. Who do you want to win this thing? Well, there's there's so many different ways it can go, right? Yeah. I, I would love to have a trilogy. The fans have asked for a trilogy with me and Mance. Mm -hmm. But Robert Meyer Burnett left the four, four horsemen. Robert Meyer Burnett walked around with a shirt with like a X over the horseman. He's been flaunting the loss of us, but he's also lost matches afterwards. So I would like to see Robert try to win, and then we have this that we can settle this thing between us once and for all. All right. But all Inman, right. Inman is my is my dark horse. Inman, yeah, right. because he's got that edge to him. I saw all him right. in the team match. He's got an edge. All right, so you're shitting all over uh, Dewberry. I yeah, see well, it. Was. All right, here Ooh. we go, guys. Now we get into it, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the movie trivia. Yeah, let's bring it up. All right, introducing first. Representing Team Trek, huh, with a record of one win, two defeats, ladies and gentlemen, Jason Justice Inman. There we go. Yeah, oh, so very popular for the fans. Very Ooh. popular with Jason. Jason's a yeah. good guy. Good guy. Great inner geek. Oh, look at that. that. Look at that's that. right. That's, I got to tell you, Inman and Mance have such a great relationship. Yep. And yep. He, he, I would say that Inman is very, very responsible for helping out Mance's kind of resurgence in the league. Absolutely. I agree with that. And his opponent. Representing oh. the Wildberry. I hate this song. With a record of one win, two defeats. Elliot, the mountain. Look, look at that. He's doing so well, man. I love this team. It's fantastic. Oh, I yeah. love these guys. I, I've been here on one of my favorite wow, yeah. teams already. They're 0 and 1, but I love them. Oh, you know, I, I thought the way Jason could pull off those red pants, and then Josh Pukuga showed up. Look yeah, at those red pants. Like, it, it takes a special kind of man to pull those red pants off. Yeah, and Dewberry's got the, 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 the coming to America jacket. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Look at that. All right. All right, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> And that boy good. Their opponent representing <laughs> Team Trek yes. with a record of two wins, three defeats. He is the Mance Man. Scott Look at Mance. Mance. Scott Mance. Dewberry has a lot of Dewberry has a lot of history. All right, there we go. So we got Team Track. You've got Elliot Dewberry and their opponent. Woo! Representing the Lions Den, making his Schmodown singles debut, the former Inner Geekdom Champion of the World, Robert Meyer. Showman. He is. He's a showman. Look at that jacket. Lioness. It's a fantastic jacket. Coming out with the lioness and yeah. Tom Dagnino. I, I like that they come out to support him. <laughs> oh. Yeah, now, yeah. Of course, Dagnino wants to say something. <laughs> of course, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you're a paper champion. Oh, okay. oh Jesus. Roka's, Roka's a dope. <laughs> yeah. What? And the All other right. guy, I'm going to take his job. He's oh, yeah. not going to remember this two minutes Listen, later. Listen, here's so what's going to happen here. Like goldfish. One yeah. of the lions in is going to rip your tits off Whoa. along with the belt. Yikes. Okay? Sorry. All right. So Good. get ready. Okay, nice hat. Go clean yeah. it. Come on. Here. <laughs> I love my teammates. I love my teammates. All right. All right. Can someone clean the mic? All right, guys. So then that would leave their fifth opponent then. Who will these guys be playing in order to get a shot at John Roca in the tournament? And their opponent. Oh, oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, you oh, retired. Oh, you said you retired. You just texted him? Get out of here. Get out of here. Beat it. Wow. Beat it, wow. Beat it wow. mister. Not, not funny. Superman. Not my brother. Uh, wow. Let's close that Not curtain. cool. Let's close that Not curtain. cool. Let's close the curtain. All right. All right. And your opponent. Representing oh. Oh, wow. Team Dang. Action, wow. making his Schmodown mm. debut. All right, the one and only Ben, the Boss, Bateman. Oh, look at that! Dang. The Boss is here. Oh, ben yeah. Bateman. 
Bateman. Wow. Look at it. Ben no. Bateman really nice. loving it. No. After beating no. Team Jeez. Track in Go the team move. tournament. What a move. run they have in the in the tournament. <laughs> and now here you have you have Jesus. sitting next to Burnett. Inman he obviously has some beef Hero. with Good Inman like and Dewberry giving him Pleasure some looks. Next to a, a, a mature Look at this so guy. We <laughs> have round number one is going to work like this. Competitors will get eight questions, mm. all worth one point apiece. When it is your turn, you will show it to the camera. Say it. It'll be worth one point, 15 seconds to answer the question. Scott Mance, are you ready? I'm ready. Dewberry, are you ready? Yup. Inman. Let's do it. Burnett. As I'll ever be. Ben. What do you think, Arloff? Then let's get ready to Schmoda! Here we go, guys. All right. Round number one. Question number one. In the world of dramas, what popular TV actress plays John Favreau's estranged wife in Chef? Mm. Yeah, I love that movie. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Really good. Underrated. John Leguizamo, fantastic. Absolutely. Made, made me hungry. Well, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did a good yeah. job. I bought a food truck right True. afterwards. I'm always hungry, though. That's the rub. Oh, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Scott Mance. Nothing. Oh. Dewberry. Scott Mance. Incorrect. Inman. <laughs> Beautiful modern family woman. Yeah, that will. Nope. No, we're not going to give it to you. <laughs> yes, Burnett. but no. <laughs> Shelly Long. Okay. Incorrect. Bateman. Yes, Catherine Heigl? No, nope. wow. got it. Oh, it was God. Sophia Vergara. Oh, Sophia yeah. Vergara. Oh, that's surprising. Man. Nobody got oh, it. Oh, that's that's surprising. Nice. Big right. whiff. Big wow. whiff there. All that's right. Round ben, two. Ben has a Latino I mean, partner. That's yeah, surprising. Yeah, you didn't pa know that. Part two. <laughs> All right, guys. Jeez. Question two. Category is animated. What is the name of Ariel's father in Disney's The Little Mermaid? All right. Some uh, groans in the crowd, but it doesn't look like everybody knows it. No, that, you know? no, absolutely. Did you know this one, Outlaw? Uh, what? You know. <laughs> nice dodge. Five. I don't have kids. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down. Dewberry. King Triton. That's, That's correct. Point. Nice. Inman. Triton. Correct. Point. Burnett. H Aquaman. That's incorrect. Ben. <laughs> ben. Triton. That's correct. Great. And Mance. James T. Kirk. Wow. wow. So All right. Man Mance and Burnett. Didn't come in with a goose egg Oof. there. All right, here we go. Oh. Yikes. All right, next question Is here. Is it a Star Trek question? Please. No, it wasn't. Comedies. Okay. Comedies. In Zoolander, which music legend judges the walk-off between Derek and Hansel? Ooh. Mm. There you go. So now that they're really this five-way here getting underway. This one I know. This one I know. You knew this one? Yeah. I don't like Scott that movie. Was I great. You didn't like Zoolander? No, I agree. That was another life. Five, four, three, two, one. One pens down now, Inman. Ziggy Stardust, David Bowie. That's nice. correct. Yeah. Burnett. <laughs> Ricky Martin. No, <laughs> Bateman. David Bowie. Correct. Oh, nice. Mance. Justin Bieber. Wow. Oh. Dewberry. David Bowie, guys. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Dewberry is playing. You hear I, McCougar. I think we're showing our age here. <laughs> Dewberry, so. Inman, Bateman, the young bucks beating All both right. Mance and Burnett right now. We're down by two. Here we go. Next All question. All right. Question four, category horror thriller. Listen up. Shadowy elements in the NSA target a nine-year-old autistic savant for death when he is able to decipher a top secret code in what 90s thriller starring Bruce Willis? Oh, that is a, it's a good one. It's, it's a good question. I, I saw this one. I don't want to repeat read the question? that again. Yeah, oh, there you go. One, who asked for that one? Man, that's one. Okay. All right. Shadowy elements in the NSA target a nine-year-old autistic savant for death when he is able to decipher a top secret code in what 1990s thriller starring Bruce Willis? Breathe. Breathe. Ooh, I don't read that many syllables in a row. <laughs> that's lot. true. You have a Godfather que uh, reaction to a question like that. You know, I do. Five, four, three. Two, one, pens down. Burnett. I don't know. Oh, good, good answer. And Bateman. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? Mercury Rising. That's yep. a point. Rats, oh. Right. And Mance. The Sixth Sense. Wow. 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 Dewberry. Is it Die Hard? No, it is not. <laughs> I went with the Jackal. <laughs> wow. Ben wow. Bateman. <laughs> the only one. Ben Bateman. Look at Bateman with three Jeez. points there. Wow. Damn. What's in those glasses? Are those Google glasses? What it's the glasses. Bateman. Bateman. What's on the glasses? Coming yeah. to play the answers. Here. Three, two, two, zero, zero. All right. Here we go. Next question. Action Adventure, who directed the fifth Mission Impossible film, Rogue Nation? Oh, Mance looks like he definitely knows this one. I think Mance interviewed everyone in that, yeah. whoever did, yeah. stepped yeah. on yeah. set. Like, the worry with Mance is if you can read the board, he writes. So. And, oh, wait a minute. Five, four, three, two, one, pens down. Ben. Christopher McQuarrie. That's correct. That's correct. Mance. 
Chris McQuarrie. That's correct. correct. Jay Jerbrams. It's incorrect. Inman. Chris McQuarrie. Correct. Good. Burnett. Chris McQuarrie. Gets it. Nice. All right. So right. Everyone is on but the board. Bateman still takes the lead here. Four, three, Burnett, two, we're on the one, board. one. Next one. <laughs> All right, right guys. guys wow. Question six is in the category of fantasy sci-fi. What sci-fi thriller starring Matt Damon and Emily Blunt revolves around the affair between a politician and a contemporary dancer and is affected by mysterious forces keeping the lovers apart? Look at these hard ones. Why huh? am I getting essays? <laughs> I, I absolutely love this movie. Yeah. yeah. I liked it. I liked what was... Oh, Five, yeah, all right. Four. Can you repeat that? Who, right. Who's that? Dewberry? Okay. That is a Dewberry one. Repeat for him. What <laughs> sci-fi thriller starring Matt Damon and Emily Blunt revolves around the affair between a politician and a contemporary dancer and is affected by mysterious forces keeping the lovers apart? And five, four, three, two, one. Mance. The Adjustment Bureau? Correct. Yes. Dewberry. Nothing. Uh, Inman. Adjustment Bureau. Correct. Correct. Burnett. Good job, number one. Burnett. Thank you. The Adjustment Bureau. Correct. Nice. Bateman. The Adjustment Bureau. Wow. That's correct. What Bateman. a round. Ben Bateman. Five, four, two, two. Inman's having a very good round, too, by the way. Wow. That's four points. And we were Bateman, talking about it not 20 ass. minutes ago. Here we go. Rom-coms. Rom-coms, number seven. Rom-coms. Oh. Josh Lucas plays Jake, a former flame to Reese Witherspoon in which movie? Which movie? I love lines from this movie. You did? What do you? What about you? With you? Uh, I, I you didn't never see it. But no, I didn't see it. But uh, you're right. It seems like my it style. Feels, yeah, you just say exhausted. Yeah, I did. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down and Dewberry. Legally blonde. That's incorrect. No. Inman. Is it Sweet Home Alabama? That's correct. Yes. Okay. Burnett. <laughs> Burnett. Election. <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> Bateman. Sweet Home Alabama. That's Got correct. it. Yeah. Mance. Sweet Home Alabama. All right. Mance coming back. Suddenly, now. Mance yeah. is right. in third place. Yeah. It's best Mance forgotten. Yeah. All right. So, all right. <laughs> best forgotten. Look at this. Although, it did so, come out in 2003. Who would have thought? Look, look. you've got Mance with three, Dewberry two, Inman five, Burnett two, and Bateman six. It is a battle right now between mm. Team Trek and one half of Team Action. All right. Your final question here. All right. Number eight. Category is family films. Elijah Wood is sent off to spend the summer with his uncle Porter in the 1996 family film Flipper. What Aussie plays Porter? This is not, these questions have been fantastic. Yeah, you got to earn it. You yeah. got to earn it. And five, four, three, two, one. Jason Inman. Paul Hogan. Look That's at correct. Jason Inman. That's correct. correct. Burnett. Paul Hogan. That's, That's correct. correct. Ben Bateman. Heath Ledger. Oh, he correct. missed. Ooh. And Mance. Russell Crowe. Uh, <laughs> not bad, not bad. And Dewberry. Paul Hogan. Oh, there you go. We have. Look at, that. Look at that. Six, six, three, three, three. What wow. an amazing round one here. It is in the books, and now round number two is going to start, and round number two is going to be something special. Normally, there have been eliminations. No eliminations here until you are mathematically eliminated. So round number two works very differently than in the past. There will be three questions per opponent. Each person will spin the wheel. Each person will spin the wheel. Two points apiece, unless you go to multiple choice, then one point. However, remember for steals this time around, gentlemen who are not answering the question, when your opponent is answering his turn at the wheel, write the answer down on the board in case a steal happens. If he misses during a two-pointer and you guys get it, that is will be two points. If he misses during, uh, during a multiple choice option, you guys can steal. So there are a chance to steal either two or one point. Very, very careful strategy here because there could be a chance for an eight-point swing with yeah. one question if you do it the wrong way. So right now, Jason Inman, Ben Bateman, Dewberry, Mance, and Burnett. All right, so Inman and Bateman are tied right now. Jason Inman is officially the higher-ranked player. So Jason Inman, you have a chance to choose either first or, or you can defer. First or second spin? You, you, if you want to go first right now, you can, or you can defer to Ben Bateman, who can go now. Let's see how Ben Bateman does. All right, yeah. Ben's going to go up right, first. Go. You're gonna... Jason Inman. You're the guy that ate shit against Team Action. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, you can actually That's make it wow. quiet. Wow. And now, now oh, wow. he wasn't quiet in the round, but there he goes. He woke he up. He had time to give it a good spin. Please call out what you get, because we can't see shit. <laughs> Here we go. Spin his head, Christian. Landing on. 
2000? Yeah. Right, it. there we go. He's going to keep, keep it. the All 2000s. Right. All right. So Ben Bateman now getting the yeah. 2000s. Ben was Three in, uh, questions in the world of 2000s. Ben was in elementary school. In the Here we go. All right. Ben, first question. Who plays Jared Leto's mother in Requiem for a Dream? Ellen Burstyn. Wow. Nice. Two, two points, points for Bateman there. Good, two good. more points. Here, two more questions here. The attempted assassination of the American president is told and retold from several different perspectives in what 2008 drama? The assassination of Richard Nixon. That's, That's incorrect. incorrect. <laughs> so the steel guys, write it on your board, please. If you, if you know it, still you have 15 seconds to answer. I know this one. You know, and guys, make sure you're writing it while the question is being answered. So this could hurt. This could hurt Ben if they the all get it right. Yeah. He's going to be yeah, that's there's an eight-point yeah. swing. <laughs> all right, here we go, guys. All right, so five, four, three, two. Scott Mance. Nothing. Mm. nothing. Dewberry. Nothing. Nothing. Inman. Viewpoint. Incorrect. Close. Burnett. Don't know. It was Vantage, Vantage Point. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, Vantage man. Point. Ben, yeah. Bateman, Bateman avoiding Fuck. a big swing there, so that was big. All right. Okay. I remember that movie. Final, Final question. question. Final question. Yeah. Final question in the next category 2000s. Who played rookie director Damien Cockburn in Tropic Thunder? Oh. Director Damien Cockburn in Tropic Thunder. Played by Steve Coogan. That's nice. right. Look at Bateman there. Nice, Bateman. Bateman going away wow. from multiple choice, That's and amazing. it pays off because he got out of there 10. He got, he got four points, a good spin. Okay, Jason Inman, you have a chance. If you want to go, you can also defer again if you want to. to sure, I'll go. Okay, Why you're going to go. Go, All right, go number go. one. Here we go. So Steady she goes. Inman is going to. Nothing Energize. happens. Correct. No, actually, you will. 2000s, you can still get. Yeah. You can still get 2000. Spin in here, Christian. We got that. Landing on oh. Oscar movies. Oscar Ooh. movies. Do you want to stay or would you like to spin again? You're going to spin again away from Oscar movies. All right. Inman now. Inman's playing very well here. Six points yep. in the first round. Yep. Great Good round challenge. by Inman. Oh. Landing on. What is it? Denzel. 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 Wow. All right. Denzel Washington movies for Jason Inman. All right, gentlemen, remember, make sure that you're writing down the answer on the board as Jason is getting his question so we can just reveal the steals if they happen. Okay, here we go. Jason, in which sci-fi thriller does Denzel Washington pursue a homicidal virtual reality character who escapes into the real world? Is it Virtuosity? That's two correct. Points. Nice. Jason Inman. All right. Well done, number one. Jason Inman, what 1998 thriller sees Denzel Washington play Detective John Hobbs who investigates a series of supernatural murders? Ooh. I saw this in the theater. I like this one. I think I know this, but I'm going multiple choice. Is it A, The Bone Collector, B, Fallen, C, John Q, D, Out of Time? Fallen. That's correct. Right, one point. point for Jason Inman. All right. All right, here we go. Last one here, Jason. What city's sanitation department does Denzel Washington work for in Fences? Oh, 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 oh. I think I know this one as well, but multiple choice. A, Pittsburgh. B, Detroit, C, Cincinnati, D, Baltimore. Is it Pittsburgh? That's one point. Oh, nice. 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 Good. 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 Look at that. All right, wow. so now Scott Mance is up. Wow. He's the higher ranked player here, so Scott Mance will be up next. Scott Mance, go Let's ahead. Let's do this. Big one for Scott Mance. All right, Mance needs this. All right, it's a good round, Mance's spin. teammate. Big spin. All right, so Scott Mance, you will. I'm sorry, do you actually know how to speak sentences? Here I can't hear you. There's a spin, big spin. What's it going to land oh, on? that 0% body fat going into that spin. Remember, Scott. Right. Landing on. Landing on. And remember, guys, write your answers down as the questions happen. What is it? What is it? What is it? Action adventure. Action adventure. Spinning again away from action adventure. <laughs> you can't put. You. Action adventure. Spinning away from action adventure. Ben Bateman. He's hoping for that hoping movie, for movie release. Hoping for movie release. Yeah, yeah. Movie. movie release date. Landing the on. Song, the hit in oh, several oh, oh. countries. That oh. bitch! What is it? Cameron Diaz! Cameron Diaz! <laughs> Cameron Diaz. <laughs> wow. Cameron Diaz it is. I don't know the genesis of this feud. So Cameron Diaz, oh, because he said something in the team match. When they, it, it was against the yeah. Team Formula the Wait Superhero for News. Oh. Cameron Diaz oh. crushed it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. So Man, Scott you watch these movies by now? Wow. Three questions in the world of Cameron Diaz. Remember, guys, as the question is being asked, write your answer. Here we Got go. It. In Bad Teacher. Cameron Diaz tries to win over substitute teacher Scott Adillacourt. Who plays Scott? Bitch. <laughs> if 
final answer? Five. Multiple choice. Is it A, Matt Bomber, B, Ryan Gosling, C, Luke Wilson, D, Justin Timberlake? Justin Timberlake. One point nice. for Scott Mance. Point. Well right. done. All right. Cameron Diaz plays June Havens in what action film? Uh, multiple choice. Is it A, Charlie's Angels, B, The Green Hornet, C, Night and Day, D, The Mask? Say that, uh, repeat the question, please. Repeat the question. Cameron Diaz plays June Havens in what action film? A, Charlie's Angels, B, The Green Hornet, C, Night and Day, D, The Mask? C, Night and Day. That's correct Third for one wow. point. Nice. All right, Scott Mance now, five points here. Scott, Bitch. Fi final question, Scott. What is the name of Cameron Diaz's character in the Shrek films? Princess Fiona. That's nice. correct. Nice. Look at that. Oh, oh. Scott oh. Mance, nice. only down three. Big round. Nice round for Scott Mance there. And now he likes. Now he's oh, got no, it. Now he didn't he let her defeat you. All right. Well done. All right, because Elliot. We're back. Elliot Dewberry. Elliot Dewberry is the higher ranked. He will spin next. Elliot, Whoa. there we go. All right, Makuga wow, screaming God out for Wilder. Really loud. That's not Roka. All right, here we go. There's, oh, look at that spin. That's, he just That's gets how right you in spin there. a wheel. Yeah. Tell me what you get when you hit it. Here we go. <laughs> and it's going to land on. Yo! Damn. Action adventure. Oh. Take it. Yeah, it's oh. going to take it. Action oh, boy. So far, I've been very impressed with these competitors in the second yeah. round. Three yeah. questions. Action adventure. This is an interesting category. This is a ben, ben Bateman is oh. salivating right He's now. ready. This He's waiting for it. Here, here we go. All right, three questions, Elliot. Here's your first question. In Lethal Weapon 2, the man driving the truck that Riggs is hanging onto eventually gets killed by what beach sporting good? <laughs> A surfboard? That's, That's correct. correct. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Dewberry. Dewberry now. Wow. What a matchup we've got All here. Right. Okay, here we go. Question two. Who played the villainous Senator Qantas Corvus in 2014's Pompeii? Multiple choice. <laughs> A, Ben Kingsley. B, Kiefer Sutherland. C, Ian McShane. D, John Reese davies Ian McShane? Incorrect. Incorrect. <laughs> All right, so for the steal here, all right, Scott Mance, the steal. Nothing? Mm. Uh, you, okay. Uh, it was key for Sutherland. That's correct, correct for, for one point, point. <laughs> Burnett. Really? I didn't write anything. As a Roman. Said John Reese davies So wow. only Inman. Wow. Only wow. Inman gets a steal yeah. there. Yeah. Takes oh, in the right. lead. Wow. wow. Inman pulling in the lead Inman with that steal. Inman is in the lead. But there was so, multiple yeah. choice, and Mance didn't pick any of the multiple choice. All right, here we go. I'm surprised I'm surprised Bateman missed that. All right, here we go. Last question. Guys, guys. Final question. Which director, also known for his work in the Die Hard franchise, shares a director credit on the historical fiction action film The 13th Warrior? John McTiernan. Two That's points. Nice. So, points. Dewberry. so Dewberry That's tying up Mance here, but Inman really benefited from that round. Now it's all up to the former Inner Geekdom champion, Robert Meyer Burnett, who's going to go and spin here. Robert Meyer Burnett needs a good round. A good round. I wonder if he has any magic left in that coat. <laughs> We're going to see. Here's the spin. Nice. There is. There's the spin. I love you, man. The former problems with Robert. I always like the way he spun the wheel. He's a good I always like he's a good spin. All right, it's going to land on. What's it coming to, Robert? What do we got? That's a great spin. Going to land on. Looks like. It is. Movie release date. What is it? What are you going to Movie release date. Spin. Spinning again. Spin, Scott. Movie release date. Can you imagine? Yeah. Can you imagine? Son of a bitch. It finally got it. Someone got it, and it wasn't me. Great spin. This is it. He's got to stick with this one. Got to stick with this one here when it lands on. Uh-oh, what are we getting? We're getting close to. What is that? 2000s. You can stay with 2000s if you want. You can stay with it. You can, uh, no, that's it. You have to stay with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Back to 2000s here. Back to 2000s. All right, here we go, guys. Burnett. Who played the role of real-life Irish Republican Bobby Sands in the 2008 film Hunger? Michael Fassbender. Two points. Wow, oh, nice. Yes. All right. I did not know that one. Who plays UN interpreter Sylvia Broom, who overhears two men discussing an international assassination plot in the 2005 political thriller The Interpreter? Nicole Kidman? Two points. Wow. Two points. Wow. And Burnett now tying it up. And your Ooh. final final question here. A mentally disturbed young woman takes a job at a posh country club and falls 
in with a clique of wealthy college kids where she's taken under the wing of the clique's twisted leader in what 2000 teen thriller? Could you repeat the question? Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> a mentally disturbed young woman takes a job at a posh country club and falls in with a clique of wealthy college kids where she's taken under the wing of the clique's twisted leader in what? 2000 team Multiple thrill. choice. You bastard. A, <laughs> urban legend. B, the in crowd. C, sorority row. D, disturbing behavior. The in crowd. That's correct. Wow. So now look at this. Look Burnett, at this. With that spin, Burnett has now put himself in third place as we get to round number three. Oof. What an absolute now, what barn burner. Third destiny. and final yeah. round. The third and final round works like this. Very similar to a normal singles match. The competitors will all get two, three, and five pointers. Wow. They will choose between one and 20. Pay attention to the numbers that your opponents choose because you will eventually run out of numbers. All right, so we're going to start with Jason Inman, who is in the lead. Jason, take three numbers from 1 to 20. Let's go with 7, 1, and 10. 7, 1, and 10. All right, Bateman, you are up next. 23, 24, 25. Well, let's go from 1 to 20. <laughs> pay, try, to pay try to pay attention, young lion. Here. Let's go 18, 19, 20. 18, nice. 19, 20. All right, uh, next would be Burnett. Uh, 2, 8, and 11. 2, 8, and 11. All right, so now we're going to have <laughs> Mance is the higher rank. So, Mance. Mance, are you texting a friend? Mate. Uh, let's see. I'll do 5, uh, what, 5, 6, and 9. 5, 6, nice. and 9. It's clear. Good numbers. Okay. Okay. Who told you that? How many will we have keep left? keeping track of the numbers. So he's good. All right, so Dewberry. I'll just take the scraps. What's left? Uh, we have, <laughs> we got three is left. One more. Just four. three, just three. Just three, give me whatever's four. left. And what three? Is oh, yeah. do it. Just a surprise me. So just, I don't care. I'm not superstitious about this part. You've loved it 11. So 12. Three, four, and 12? Yeah, sounds great. All right, three, <laughs> four, and good 12. I've, I've never good seen numbers. that before. All right, so three, four, and 12. Advantage. All right, we're going to start now with Dewberry. So Dewberry, you are going to you you have. Three, four, and twelve. All right, here we go. Open. All he got, all he needs to do is he just needs to hit his two because then it'll go directly to Scott Mance. So number three, you have dramas. Ooh, dramas. Who starred as Jane Austen in the 2007 film Becoming Jane? Is there multiple choice in this round? There's not. <laughs> uh. I don't know, Meryl Streep. <laughs> All right, the answer is Anne Hathaway. Oof, Anne no. Hathaway was the answer. All right, here we go. Okay. Next question here, category of crime films. What movie features Dustin Hoffman as Mumbles, Mandy Patinkin as 88 Keys, and Al Pacino as Big Boy Caprice? Ah, Dick Tracy. There yes. you go. There you go, three points for Dewberry. Now we get to Scott Mance. Scott Mance now, who chose... Uh, five, six, and nine. Five, six, and nine. So, Scott, your first one is a two-point question. Number five is the category of comic book movies. Hmm. Comic book movies. Two-point question. Yeah. Dr. Otto Octavius loses which family member in a failed fusion experiment in Spider-Man 2? His wife. That's yeah. correct. Two, two points. points. <laughs> but Mance is still behind, though. He needs it's the answers. The wife. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Burnett is up. Burnett's it's up. the Burnett's uncle. Up. Star Trek Burnett's actress. Burnett's All right. So now, now we bounce back. Now we Burnett's bounce to uncles. the former Inner Geekdom champion, Robert Meyer Burnett, who's going to have his two-pointer. Robert, that is animated. Animated. Oh. What state do the Simpsons retreat to in the Simpsons movie? Maine for Alaska. Alaska. All right. So now we stay with Robert Meyer Burnett. All right. Here we go. Always guess Alaska. All right. Here we go. So you're going to have family films. Family oh, films. Shit. Complete the phrase from Jumanji. In the jungle, you must wait till the dice read. Five, four, three. Two. Snake eyes. Looking for five or eight. Or eight. Five mm. or eight is the. All right, so Robert Meyer Burnett needs to hit his five pointer or oh, he no. will be mm. eliminated. You got fantasy sci fi. Fantasy sci fi. Who provided the voice of Gertie, the robotic companion in 2009's Moon? 
Kevin Spacey. Five points. Nice. Nice. Five Staying points. alive here. Nice. But he's all tapped out. If anybody gets past 13, Robert Meyer Burnett will wow. be eliminated. Wow. So mm. now we go to. Back to Scott Mance. No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. You're Scott right. Mance, you chose the number six. That is famous actors and actresses. Their success has made them known by people. All right. Here we go. <laughs> uh, your three point question in. 2004, what actor and actress received Razzies individually for Worst Actor and Worst Actress and together for Worst Screen Couple? Holy shit. Repeat the question, please. It's the last one. That's the last one. In 2004, what actor and actress received Razzies individually for Worst Actor and Worst Actress and together for Worst Screen Couple? This is interesting. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that would be Ben Affleck, Jennifer Lopez. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well he jumps yep. up 12 oh. points there. 12 points. So now we're going to go oh. to Can we Dewberry. Take That's amazing. Like, they big. didn't give you the name of the no, movie at it. all. That's amazing. Scott Mance. Dewberry. Dewberry, Dewberry, Dewberry now. For five all right, so points. now oh, Dewberry, Dewberry needs to hit his five-pointer or he will be match. eliminated. <laughs> Dewberry chose number 12, and that's Tom Hanks Films. Oof. Tom Hanks Films. All right. I've seen a few of those. Tom Hanks has directed two feature films. Name them. Uh, Philadelphia. Five, uh, four, three, two, one. Elliot Dewberry has been eliminated. Uh, the, uh, the answer was that thing you do and Larry Crown. Yeah. Yeah. Thing you do and Larry Crown. Dewberry putting up a fight here, but now. That thing you do. All right, so now we jump to Ben Bateman, who's first on the board here. All right, Ben Bateman, you're up here. You chose number 18, Ben. Yep. You chose 18. All right, Ben, 18 is 90s movies, 90s movies. What legendary composer was played by Gary Oldman in the film Immortal Beloved? Mozart. Mm. Incorrect. Beethoven. Looking for Beethoven. Beethoven. All wow. right, so now you're 19. All right. In the category of Westerns, category of Westerns, Let's which go. Western film was released first, Tombstone or Wyatt Earp? Tombstone. Three points. Yep, correct. Three points. All right, so now... It, it goes to, so Dewberry is X'd out, so now it goes back to Jason Inman. Oof. Jason, Liana. you chose number seven. <laughs> that is Leo DiCaprio. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> All right. All right, two-point question. Released in the year 2000, what film starred Leo and was directed by Danny Boyle? Ooh. Five, four, Blood Diamond. Ooh. Incorrect. No, Looking no, for The, the Beach. beach. Yeah, beach. The beach. Mm. Trailers Never featured thought. before Don't The care. Phantom Menace. Came out in March. March of 2000. Sorry. All right. All right. You chose the number one. That is the category of directors. That is director's three-point question. What Alfred Hitchcock trailer inspired the Danny DeVito comedy Throw Mama from the Train? Which Alfred Hitchcock trailer? Which? Which? Ah. The Which Alfred Hitchcock thriller inspired the Danny DeVito go. comedy, yeah. Throw Thank Mama you. from the Train? <laughs> Is that going to make a difference? Come uh, on, Jason. Come on. Shh. Five, four, three. Let's go, Vertigo. Wow. Incorrect. Nope. Strangers, Strangers on a, on a train. train. Well, Jason Inman had a big lead, but yeah. now he's down yeah, to his yeah, five-pointer. I'm just You're not even here. He's <laughs> down to his oh, five-pointer. Oh, wow, wow. He needs yeah. to hit this, or he will be eliminated. All right, Jason, you chose number 10. That category is scores and soundtracks. Okay. Five-point question. Annie Lennox performed the Academy Award-winning song Into the West for which 2003 film? Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. There, there, you there go. Five it points. is. Five points. So wow. now Inman shoots into the lead here. Wow. Shoots into the lead at 16. So with that question, with Jason Inman getting that correct, Robert Meyer Burnett has been eliminated. Oof. Wow. So Burnett is now gone. And now we jump to Scott Mance. Five-pointer for Scott Mance. All right, Mance, you chose category number nine. To stay in it here, you have the category of movie quotes. In what 1995 epic will you hear the following quote? Do it and let the English see you do it. Ooh. Oh. Do I have a repeat the question? No, let you're out. out. I'm out. 
Five, four, three, two. Seven. Looking for Braveheart. Braveheart. Scott Mance has Damn. been eliminated. No more Mance versus Roka. Three there. Uh, All right, Scott Mance has taken off. All right, so Scott Mance has taken off. Dewberry and Burnett, if you guys can clear the table here so we can have the final two competitors down to the wire. Wow. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Dewberry's upset. Yeah, He's knocking over anger. office These furniture. All right. Yeah. Here All right. we go. Here you go. All right, so Ben the Bateman. Nicest he's ever been to me. Down to Ben Bateman and Jason Inman for the final five pointer. J uh, ben, you took rom coms. Oh. Rom coms. All right, Let's here see how we much go. You love your woman. What actor played the groom, Ian, in the smash hit, My Big Fat Greek Wedding? Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question, please. Oof. Got three good, of them. Good, good, what good. actor played the groom, Ian, in the smash hit, My Big Fat Greek Wedding? Joey Fatone. Oh. And your winner wow. going on to play John Rucka, Jason Justice I called it. Called yeah, I said to him. You said Ben. No, you said Ben. I said him. You did? Yeah, I yeah. did. I said he was a dark horse. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You got to give wow. credit there. Wow. That's amazing. Wow, that was something. Jason Inman, wow. probably the biggest underdog, is now two and two. Yeah. Ben Bateman, hell of a showing oh. there. Not even just walking yep. off just the walking set. On. I but those days. man, wow. John Corbett is going to hunt John Ben Corbett Bateman's dreams. John Corbett was the answer. John Corbett yeah. was the answer. That was absolutely everything we wanted it to be. 16 to 10 to 12 to whatever the score was. They took the scoreboard away from it. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because that was something else. My God, what a match there. They all put up a good fight. Ben Bateman, though, I think Ben Bateman just proved that he should be in the singles. Absolutely. Game. This is his first time out in this kind of singles yeah. competition. He's, he's proven uh, his, uh, himself in teams. He's yeah. an, uh, still a rising star. you got to give it to Jason Inman, a veteran coming through and a big victory. So, so talk, talk about it, 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 it was, champ. It was, got? it was a privilege to watch this match, Christian. You put yeah. these things together, and you never know how they're going to go, but yeah. somehow they always end up almost at the last question, and that's right. amazing. This And these all they all acquitted they themselves all really well, and I think Jason, I picked him as a dark horse at the beginning of this match. I had no idea he was really going to win to see him pull it out just amazing stuff amazing stuff and he's and i've said jason's been having a stronger edge lately. i think i talked yep. about it in the yep. team schmodown preview i said jason has a harder edge to him lately he seems more determined and there's a, and i he's, think he's a nice guy yeah, he, he might is. be tired of maybe getting overlooked because of that type of well, approach. He, well, well he, he looked stronger he, he outlasted, determined. exactly he outlasted his his Partner, teammate yeah. yep. he, he outlasted the former inner geekdom champion right. he outlasted dewberry and he outlasted the man who beat him in the team tournaments yep. ben bateman yep. he earned it he absolutely earned it and now He's going up against you at two and two. Um, right. he, I think that he's not someone that you just look at and say, oh, yeah, I can take care of him pretty easy. Right. No, no, not at all. I don't under, under, uh, underestimate uh, uh, Jason at all. You, you do that to your own peril. You know, He's just an incredible guy. He knows a lot of stuff. I've had many conversations with Jason, so I am not taking him lightly at all. It'll be a great match to go up against him. And if I do take him out, it'll be an honor. And, you know, I best, uh, Ben Bateman and uh, Andrew Guy are no longer going to forget this guy's name now. I'll tell you that right That's now. That's very true. All right, guys, let's get to the great Emma Fife who is now talking to some people back there, and of course, Jason Inman. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? We are here with Jason Inman. You're what? a winner. You are you sound as surprised as I am. Listen, Jason Inman, <laughs> I am a big fan of yours. Oh, thank you, bring it But, in. you know, did you, did you see this coming? No. No, in fact, before we walked out of the curtain, I told everybody uh, uh, good luck because I know I'll be the first person out. So this is a complete... I, I actually was expecting my teammate Scott Mance to take it because he's so focused when he wants to be. I guess the questions just didn't lay down where he wanted to be. I did not see myself winning this today. I, I totally agree with you about Scott Mance. It's like he's two different people yeah. when he's singing his musical rendition of movie. Really, yeah, there he is. So this guy. There he is. I'm so happy. I'm but, uh, so happy. I'm my number one. Number one. He's won. I'm my number one. One. <laughs> Team Trek, baby. You took this for Team Trek. That's Aim right. Aiming all the way, number one. That. You are now the captain of the USS. I'm the captain now. Schmodown. He's the first officer. I'm sorry Cameron Diaz took you out. No, that bitch. That bitch. But <laughs> Cameron Diaz, he actually did pretty well. But anyway, back to you, Jason Inman. What a showing today. And it had to have felt pretty good that you ended up 
beating Ben Bateman on that final question I'll there. I'll say it felt damn, damn sweet for a loudmouth who couldn't back it up when he came up to the table. Now, when he got that five-point question and you knew that this was going to make or break mm-hmm. the game, what was going through your head? Did you think he had the answer? You know, at first I thought he did, and I thought he was just playing the game, like stretching out, using every repeat. Uh, I just want to point out I never used the single repeat the entire game. You're welcome. Uh, But no, I I thought he knew it. I thought it was all done. Uh, But I was kicking myself because I let a couple easy questions go by. Like Strangers on a Train, I should have known that. And then the Leonardo DiCaprio movie, I should have known that. So I shouldn't have actually been in that situation. And that's the problem with the way I play. But it's just the way the questions were laid out. And that's how how I have to go with it. It's true. As you say, we had a lot of strong competitors in this Fatal Five way today. It really could have gone anywhere and any way. But it ended up being you. Yeah, um, it's, it's again, pure luck. That's the name the ga- name of the game of the Schmodown. It's pure luck, the questions that come down. Um, ben sometimes can do it, but sometimes I think he lets his mouth run him way off into the pasture and get lost like he was today because he seemed like the little kid in his Kmart suit like he did. But I respect everybody I played today because I really expected them all to beat me, as though I'm completely surprised that I'm standing here. And now, actually, I don't know what to do. Do I, do I train against Roka or do I just walk in and do a Tom Degnino? I, you know, the the choice is yours, Jason and Min, because you will, in fact, (laughs) be facing John Roca in the Ultimate Schmodown Tournament. That, you know, I'm a little afraid of Roca. I'm a little yeah. afraid of Rock. He's a good pal of mine, and I know that he's an evil, evil man, but now he's a hero again. So, um, you know, it'll be nice just to be in the same tournament as John Roca because last year I missed out by one. Christian Harloff beat me. I barely, I barely didn't make it in. So this year it'll be nice to at least get in around one. And whoever wins, you know what? I'll cheer him on. You know what? If Roca beats me, I'll make this promise to Roca right now. If Roca beats me, I'll walk out and cheer with him all the way through to the end. Wow, yeah. and I mean, if you do beat him, then it could be yet another big upset here in the Ultimate Schmodown Tournament. Let's, we'll find out. Well, Jason Inman, I think we are all pleasantly surprised by your victory We're today. We're very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, best of luck to you Thank moving you. forward. You got your work cut out for you with Roka, to be sure, but if today proves anything, it's that anything can happen There's- here. In the movie Trivia Schmodown. There's another real thing that it proves. It proves that I'm just not Scott Mance's sidekick on Team Trek. Just want to throw that out there. there That's everybody. true. Everybody's been standing on the internet. I see you. Jason Inman is a strong competitor in his own right. And if anybody had any doubts, I don't think they have them after oh. today. So congrats again. Thank you so Jason much. Jason Inman, I think I've said congrats to you about 17 times in this interview. Just and, keep going. Uh, it's okay. And, you know, we'll, we'll see you in that match against Roka. I hope to see you again. Back to you, Christian, Ken, and... John Roca. I like the respect that he gave you as a former yep. champion. I thought that was very nice. I think the fact that he is now going into this, one, he's he's the 16th seed. Yeah. He is the 16th seed. He is in the tournament where everyone thought maybe Scott Mance would be in the tournament. Most people on those polls, when you saw it, no one, not many people had Jason Inman winning this thing. Yep. Well, now he's got a chance to win four more matches now. And if he does, He's got a shot at this baby come yeah, December. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's uh, it's good to see him in there because he's a great competitor. He takes it very seriously. He's a good guy, and it's, it's nice to see one of the good guys win. And both of us, all, all three of us know wrestling, right? Every once in a while, a mid-carter guy gets that push. This yeah. may be Jason's push to the title. You never know. Well, he's certainly, if you like you said, he's one of the guys that maybe doesn't impact singles as much as exactly. normally, but he is a strong competitor mm-hmm. in her geekdom. So now... He's starting to become a triple threat with mm-hmm. the likes of Kalinowski or Rachel Cushing. Yeah. Jason Inman has shown that he can he can do stuff in teams. He has shown that he can do stuff in intergeekdom, and now he's showing that he's going to be now going up against you. So you got some you got some work in your hands. Yeah, I got my hands full. That's for sure. So uh, Ken, any other thoughts before we get the hell uh, out of here? Great format, great thing. Let's let's go celebrate, or Jason should. <laughs> well, we're going to get the singles tournament. It's coming up now, really right around the corner. We've got our first matchup, and it's going to be a big one. You've got. Jeff, the Insnider Snyder, going up against your partner, yeah. Matt Nost. Mighty Matt Nost. It's going to be something. Matt's going to have his hands full also because the reigning team champion is looking to make a statement. Yeah, and we've had a number of conversations recently. Chris, and you know, you've noticed Matt Nost is bringing it every match been. now. He you know, been. ever since he had that fumble with our match, he has gotten stronger and stronger every match. So I have, I have nothing but faith in him, and I think he's going to give Snyder a run for his money, and he might even pull the upset. Well, here you go, guys. Thank you so much. Make sure that you comment, like, share this. What do you think about Jason Inman and John Roca? Who's taking that match? Start to get your, your brackets in there. Get them in now. Make sure that you submit them to Schmodown2017 at gmail.com. 
bracketbrackets.com. Get them in there. First person to get a correct bracket will win a grand prize towards the end and be announced at the Spectacular. Guys, it's going to be a really great tournament. Keep checking out Inside Schmodown every Thursday on the Facebook page. Check out it. It also runs on Saturdays. Saturdays or Sundays? When the hell is it? It's, ah, it's, on, Friday. it's on YouTube sometimes. <laughs> Make sure you check that out. Also, the Schmodown Rundown every Saturday. Schmodown Rundown. The guys over there breaking down the matches. So many things happen, especially the Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page. Thank you so much. Tournaments have been incredible so far, and the big one's coming up right around the corner. For John Roca, Ken Knapsack, here's Josh McCuga, who's a bit upset.